How to Write Nursing Diagnosis for Pneumonia Writing a nursing diagnosis for pneumonia involves a structured approach to accurately assess and identify the patient's needs and problems related to their condition. Nursing diagnoses help guide the planning and implementation of care. Here are the steps to follow. Step 1. Collect patient data, gather comprehensive information about the patient's condition, medical history, physical assessment, laboratory results, and any other relevant data. Step 2. Identify actual or risk factors, determine whether the diagnosis is an actual problem or a potential risk problem. In the case of pneumonia, this could include 1. Actual diagnosis, if the patient is already exhibiting signs and symptoms of pneumonia, such as fever, cough, chest pain, and difficulty breathing. 2. Risk diagnosis, if the patient is at risk of developing pneumonia due to factors like recent surgery, impaired immune system, or comorbidities. Step 3. Identify the problem, analyze the collected data to identify the specific problem or potential problem. For example, for a patient with actual pneumonia, the problem might be impaired gas exchange related to alveolar consolidation and inflammation. Step 4. Determine the etiology, identify the underlying cause or contributing factors for the identified problem. In the case of impaired gas exchange and pneumonia, possible etiologies could include alveolar inflammation and consolidation due to bacterial infection. Step 5. Formulate the nursing diagnosis, combine the problem and etiology to create a clear and concise nursing diagnosis statement. For instance, impaired gas exchange related to alveolar consolidation and inflammation secondary to bacterial pneumonia. Step 6. Specify defining characteristics, describe the signs and symptoms that support the nursing diagnosis. This helps differentiate the diagnosis from other potential problems. For the example above, defining characteristics might include increased respiratory rate, decreased oxygen saturation, productive cough, and auscultation findings of crackles. Step 7. Write the complete nursing diagnosis, combine all the information into a complete nursing diagnosis statement. It should follow the format, nursing diagnosis related to etiology as evidenced by defining characteristics, for our example, impaired gas exchange related to alveolar consolidation and inflammation secondary to bacterial pneumonia, as evidenced by increased respiratory rate, decreased oxygen saturation, productive cough, and auscultation findings of crackles. Remember that nursing diagnoses should be individualized to the patient's unique situation and based on the actual assessment data. It's essential to use standardized nursing terminologies and follow the guidelines provided by your healthcare institution or professional standards.